Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I want to show you uh, my modification for the Gear VR uh, powered by Orculus uh, for Samsung. I uh, want to start and say that I normally use uh, to fly my drone with this uh, goggle which is nice you put your mobile use it very nice but then i received uh, this uh, gear vr and i thought to maybe i can use it to fly my dji inspire one pro uh, it wasn't so simple as uh, just put my uh, mobile because you everyone know that you need to connect your mobile to the to the drone to the controller and uh, this goggle it's meant for Samsung to use as uh, connect your mobile inside. So I do a little uh, thinking and uh, find out that I should give it a try. But uh, the problem is that I had a LG G4 telephone. Uh, it wasn't fit and it's not meant to work with Google Gear VR. So I upgrade my mobile to Samsung S6 Edge. So a simple way to connect your mobile it's by connected inside like this. But then it's not be able to use uh, as uh, connected to the DJI uh, Inspire 1 or Phantom 3 controller. So we take it out now and I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, first, all you need to do is uh, I tell you what I have, what's the final, uh, this is the final product that I, uh, af after I make the modification and I'm going to show you how I've done it. Uh, first, I thought maybe I can take my mobile, uh, the USB on the other side and have this way inside but then it was fine uh, one problem is that I can see here that this one you won't be able to put it in a normal way so you have to flip it up the, where is the USB and hold it and then put your mobile this we solve in uh, another way but uh, I have to drill a hole as you can see I already drill a hole through this plug here you see the USB here so I can connect my USB cable into the mobile directly like this and then after it sits inside you can just use it like a normal uh, VR uh, goggle uh, such as this one I showed you before and also that way you not damage the Google to be able to use it as a normal uh, Samsung and uh, Gear VR. So you can, if you want to use it as a normal, you can just take it out like this, connect it, lock it, and then you can use it to control the mobile with this and back and volume and everything. I haven't done any mood with this one. This is just uh, stays there. I'm going to show you what uh, I've done. Uh, first you need to open these four screws here, small screws. Uh, they cover by these four small locks, I already took them out. And then you have two screws here that you need to open, which cover by this sticker here. Uh, once you take it out, all the four screws plus these two, you basically flip it up, all this black goes away. Uh, one thing you need to be careful is that since it has a control for the mobile uh, and volume and all connected to this micro USB here you need to be careful once you take it off because it's connected with a flex cable so you can basically just take it off and don't touch and don't rip it off only all you need to do it on all the job you need to do it on this part then you can um, open four screws here under this it's four screws that hold and then you're gonna see a spring connect with two screws you open them also 
and then you have all this part out. Once you have all this part out, all you need to do, take a Dremel, a small tool machine and drill a hole, very nice hole. You see here I make a hole. Uh, and then you put it back, you make sure the USB cable is uh, straight and it's be able to connect to the mobile. And once it's out, uh, and you make a hole in it, you put it back all together, four screws, two screws there, all the screws under, four screws and two for the spring. Uh, this is the clean one. The dirty job is to just take a small uh, saw, dream it with the saw and just cut here. Just make it like all, all this be hole. Um, but don't rip all of it because this this you need to this you need to be able to lock on your mobile. So don't just take it off and says okay let's just connect the cable. It will not work and it's a bit damaged. So you can just see here it's a small make a nice hole, but you can just do it like this without even open the goggle. But I think this is more uh, clean and nice. And uh, yeah, once I finish with this, uh, I put my mobile, I uh, use it, if I use the USB, I can use the USB like uh, the mobile connect to the USB and use it like a Gear VR normal application. Or I can use it like this and then I can use it with my drone. Also, uh, I can just download the VR games and VR uh, application and use it like a normal. Uh, just like you use with this uh, Google. Um, yes, uh, that's about that. Yes, and as a reminder for the, uh, I told you before, once I put the mobile uh, in and use it with a drone, then I have to flip this up. I have to flip this up and lock it on right uh, once you use it like this it's fine if you use it without any cover but it might be chance that the mobile going to be it's very easy it's not really hold it so good so it might be chance that this will uh, jump out your mobile so uh, what i've done is i make modification to the lock also i create a small hole here and then i use the mobile inside and put the cover on top and you can see it's like this it's a little bumping out here so uh, yes and that's uh, supposed to be make you feel more secure that the mobile not jump out uh, one other thing is that if you use a dji uh, drone equipment and you use the the Litchi application, then you probably know that you can use a button on a controller that once you click, once you click on a button, you can change the view from the drone into the view from the camera. So you'll be able to put it on your head and still look in on a, a drone and see the drone through your uh, camera for the mobile. So either you can use it uh, without anything so the camera will be visible or what you can do is you can make a small window here which I might make it and I gonna make a small video uh, update video about this and then you can use a flexi glass or something like this because this you cannot see through so you just have to measure where it sits the camera exactly and see how you can manage to I didn't do it yet but I will maybe make something like this or you can just use it like normal it, it is maybe going to be fall if you don't put this cover on it's a slightly chance that is the mobile gonna be jump out so I think you need to be a little creative and make a small window here and uh, so the camera will be visible and then you'll be able to see uh, the drone if you use the Litchi application. But if you use DJI Go, no problem. There is no options to use the view from the camera of the mobile. So you can just leave it like this, but you must make a hole here so it's be able to be locked. Uh, yes. So 
this is about this part maybe going to be fall if you don't put this cover on it's a slightly chance that is the mobile gonna be jump out so I think you need to be a little creative and make a small window here and uh, so the camera will be visible and then you'll be able to see uh, the drone if you use the Litchi application but if you use DJI Go no problem there is no options view from the camera of the mobile so you can just leave it like this but you must make a hole here so it's be able to be locked uh, yes so this is about this part yes uh, that's it for today uh, I hope you like this video please uh, like and share this video subscribe to my channel and uh, ask me anything you like to know on a comment below and I will do my best to help you uh, with this modification and any of my other video that I have done uh, I'm willing to help thank you very much for watching see you in the next video